It's a good turnout here today. Um, a lot of the retired officers are always good to come back, and uh, we appreciate that. You can't hear me back there, John? Move up. <laughs> So with Jeff's family today is his wife, Connie, his daughter, Sasha, his son, firefighter, Jeff Pugilis of the Watertown Fire Department, his nephew, uh, Lieutenant William Whittacombe, uh, whose dad actually worked with us here as well for many years, of the Waltham Fire Department, firefighter Nico Pugilis of the Waltham Fire Department, his nephew, Officer uh, Danny Pugilis from the Mass Transit Police, his nephew, Sergeant Gary Pugilis from uh, Los Angeles Police Hollywood Division. Nephew, Officer Thomas Pugilis um, from the LAPD Custody Services Division. His nephew, Officer Jordan Markovich from the LA County Sheriff's Department. And his two cousins, uh, Mark and Michael Pugilis from Belmont PD. So what a, what a history of family <laughs> service there. Um, and I'd just like to, you know, thank the, I know your nephews traveled from uh, L.A. to be here today, so thank you for that. Uh, just a couple words about Jeff. Um, Jeff started with the police department on January 1st, 1980, and he was assigned to the Night Patrol Division. In August of 1993, uh, he was promoted to sergeant, and he remained in the Night Patrol Division. In July 98, he was assigned as a Traffic Division Commander, uh, which he stayed till 2005 when he then returned to the Night Patrol Division. Uh, Jeff, I always love working nights. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, 34 out of 41 years uh, he worked in the Night Patrol Division. And for people that have not worked nights, um, it's not fun. So <laughs> to do 34 years uh, is quite an accomplishment. Uh, Jeff received his master's degree from Anna Maria College. Uh, and he was a longtime range and firearms instructor. Um, some of the things Jeff's been credited with, I mean, obviously we get the news here today, so we never have the news here for a final roll call. So Jeff, that's a tribute to your service uh, to this town. Um, some of the things we all know that Jeff received, the Congressional Badge of Bravery um, for his hero work during the marathon bombing. He also received the Trooper George Hanna Medal of Honor, which is the highest honor you can receive in Massachusetts in the police field, and dozens of other awards uh, around the marathon bombing. But some of the other things Jeff did in his career, back in December of 2014, Waltham Police had a murder, um, and the suspect showed up at the police station, outside the police station at 5 o'clock in the morning with a knife in his hand. Um, and we now have the less lethal shotguns and basically what is it? it's a beanbag that you shoot to try to subdue the person and Waltham did not have one working um, so they called us and Jeff responded up there uh, was able to hit the person with the beanbag take him into custody and, and nobody got hurt um, in February 2011 another call suicidal man with a knife um, Jeff responded with other officers uh, when they went into the home, uh, the person charged at the, at the knife. Jeff was able to, to spray him with pepper spray and take the knife out of his hand, again, with no one getting hurt. Uh, going through his files, Jeff has numerous um, life-saving CPR uh, commendations over the years. Um, and one thing that Jeff and his wife Connie did for many years here was produce the WPD bullet. Um, and, and I don't know, I don't know how many years end up doing it, Jeff. Over 20. Over 20. Um, and it was, you know, a thing that he took on himself.
to do. And it basically gave us a snapshot of everything going on here at the police department. So when you're on your days off, you come back, you didn't know what would happen. We were able to pick that bulletin up and do it. So um, not too many people would do that, but, but Jeff did that. Um, you know, just to, to close up, you know, I had the pleasure of working uh, with Jeff uh, 32 of his 41 years when I first came on uh, the police, you know, I worked, uh, we both worked as patrol officers together at night. Um, and what I always remembered about Jeff going on calls with them is that uh, he was just always so calm, cool, and collected, you know, and, and you saw that throughout his career. Um, you saw that, you know, the day of the, the, the marathon issue here in Watertown, how calm, cool, and collected he was and professional. Um, you know, I did a lot of road races that, over the years and shop with the cop and, and what I would do is just send out an email to the department uh, to see who would volunteer and it was all a volunteer basis and you know I, I got maybe about a 30 35 percent response every time but every single time Jeff Pugilis was there and I appreciate that Jeff so it wasn't only the times um, when he was getting paid for something but he, he spent the time volunteering for this community and I appreciate it um, Jeff I mean, what a career you had. I mean, it, I would say, some people say storybook, but I guess you got to say, we can go back and watch the movie about it, too. Um, you know, what a, what a 41 years. You know, he was up in my office the other day, and I, and I know he doesn't want to leave. Um, you know, he doesn't. And, you know, and, and that's just uh, who Jeff is. I mean, he, he loves this job. Uh, he did this job well. Um, but now it's time, Jeff, to enjoy life and... We want to thank you for your 41 years of dedicated service to the police department. So thank you. Good luck and happy, healthy time. Thank you. I'd like to turn it over to Captain Ray Dupree. Uh, good friend of Jeff's also worked with him for most of his career. Usually what we did is we make a small video for the officers that are retiring and um, people say goodbye to them and wish him well, which is going to come up in a second. However, I didn't have an opportunity to do that. I did not want to miss the opportunity, so um, I just want to say a few things to Jeff right now. That it was, uh, I got on the job three years after Jeff and uh, he more or less trained me in the beginning. I rode with him many, many times, which was an experience I won't tell you about here. But, uh, <laughs> like the Chief said, Jeff had a story called career the first. Okay, the, um, Jeff, as you know, there's some stories you don't know about Jeff. We have the shootout that happened on the East End, where Jeff um, jumped over three fences, ran behind three houses to um, flank the individuals that were shooting back at us. Um, and what you might not know is Jeff, is, he had a heart attack prior to this, which was very um, surprised a lot of us, because a lot of us didn't think he had a heart. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Jeff almost lost his life on another time. He was working detail one day, and uh, the poles came down on Arsenal Street and came across his car. Thank God he wasn't a state trooper, he might not have survived. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, uh, the last brush with death Jeff had before he came here was, uh, I'll skip that. <laughs> <laughs> you taught me a lot. Whenever I needed to fill any overtimes, you were the first one there. And whenever I didn't need to fill any, you wanted me to create some. <laughs> but it was uh, a pleasure working with you. I learned a lot from you. And uh, have fun. Thank you. Yeah, we have a video, I mean, obviously today's Memorial Day, so some people couldn't make it, so we put a little video together, uh, just some people that were, that wanted to say a few things to Jeff, so we're going to play that. Now. The trail dust off from the gullet and keep my singing voice in there. Whiskey's illegal. This is a dry gully. Appears to do, yes. <laughs> I took the grass, I'll leave to the wolves and gear. 
the monsters. Adios, amigo. <laughs> Uh, I just want to take a minute and thank you for your 41 years of service to the town of Watertown. Um, we worked together on patrol for many years. Um, they were always calm, cool, and collected. Um, definitely had a storybook career here. Uh, we thank you for your service. Uh, enjoy your retirement. You deserve it. Thank you. Hi, Jeff. I just want to wish you a healthy and happy retirement. We've worked together for 35 years. I consider that a privilege. And I just want to let you know that you're a great police officer and you're worth all the accolades that have been bestowed upon you. And I wish you good luck again and congratulations. Hey, Sarge, congratulations on your retirement. Uh, take care of yourself. And uh, it's going to be some big shoes to fill, but I think I'm going to be able to try and fill them. Take care. Have a good one. Hey, Saj, congratulations on your uh, retirement. And, uh, you know, it's missing here, but I'm here now. It's too bad you can't call me for jobs. Congrats. Hey, Jeff, just want to say congratulations on a 40-plus year career. Truly amazing amount of time and service to the town. Um, thank you. We appreciate it. I wish you the best of luck in your retirement. Good luck. Sorry, you forgot your signature of the details from last week. Hope you don't mind. Luke Bell White. I think I'm just going to retire. Sorry, in all seriousness, I wish you a happy, healthy retirement. Thank you, like, more cycle, will ya? We'll definitely see you around. If not, I'm going to come find you, ring the doorbell, get these signed. Take care. <laughs> Hello. I'd just like to take a few minutes to thank me, Sergeant Pugilis, for a successful 72 years on the Watertown Police We all know I was the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. I'd also like to take this time to remind everyone and thank me for single handedly killing 13 terrorists back in April 2013. Single handedly. And, if I may say so myself, I did a bang up job. <laughs> oh my God, will you? <laughs> On a serious note, Saj, thank you for letting me take it too far as usual. <laughs> Have a great retirement. And uh, I'll still be making fun of you in the future. Thank you. <laughs> hey, it's me, pretend Jeff. <laughs> The only guy in Hollywood good looking enough to portray you on screen. Yeah. I'm just waiting for that laughter to die down. <laughs> uh, listen, I had all kinds of uh, other hilarious jokes and pranks and stunts uh, that I thought about, but really all I want to do is just take a minute to say thank you, not only for that uh, one act of unbridled heroism on April 13th, eight years ago, unbelievable um, and who knows how many lives you saved then but uh, but for me personally also for uh, your kindness and your generosity when I was there before and during the making of Patriots Day teaching me how to shoot a gun and not look like the son of pacifists uh, teaching me all kinds of things about the ropes of police work and uh, and welcoming me into your home uh, you and Connie and to meet your kids and and, uh, and since then as well um, and I hope post pandemic now that uh, it's not too long before we cross paths again in, in Boston or Watertown or New York or Germany or somewhere uh, listen man I don't want to take all night I know you're thrilled at the concept of retirement but listen I know you're also going to continue doing good in the world uh, in in some small way here or there, even if it's just making pasta sauce, <laughs> you are having a, a, a positive impact on the planet. Uh, get back to the party if you're dumb enough to be watching this during the party, and if you're watching this after the party, I hope uh, it was a great time for everybody. Love to Connie, love to the kids. I love you, man. Bye. <laughs>
Um, before I turn it over to Jeff to do his last roll call, I just want to present him um, with his retirement badge. Um, so Jeff. The last uh, couple of weeks here, knowing this is uh, coming up, just uh, I, this is probably the proudest profession there is uh, to do, and I've been honored to serve with the people, both past and present, on this police department. They are some of the best police officers you'll ever come across anywhere. Uh, you know, today, when I'm getting ready for work, I strapped on my gun belt. I was thinking, Jesus, this is the last time I'll be strapping on my gun belt in 41 years. Thousands and thousands of times I put this gun belt on. I was thinking about all the miles I've driven around in this town, probably driven around the world 20 or 30 times, several thousand, hundred thousand miles driving around. Uh, and just one thing to all police officers, not just the Watertown police officers. You know, the people in this community, not just Watertown's community, but every community, because of police officers, sleep soundly in their beds at night. And that's because there are brave men and women that are willing to sacrifice their lives for those people out there. And that's all I have to say. And thank you so much for coming. Lieutenant Boyseth will be officer in charge, Sergeant Garabedian. Yes, sir. Patrol Supervisor, Officer Murphy. Sir. Admin Officers. Dispatchers will be D'Agostino and Selig, Officer Whitewoods. Sir. Officer Scafidi. Sir. Group 4, Officer Welch. I think she's out there covered for the day shift. Officer Kellen. Sir. Group 6, Officer Ford. Yes, sir. Group 7, Officer Giga. Sir. I have to get my glasses on this one. <laughs> I didn't need these when I started. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Officer Gigan, you'll be out in the Gator tonight, Gator yep. Patrol. Yes, sir. Officer Pham. Sir. Motorcycle. Officer Parent. Yep. Traffic. And an East End coverage car, anybody? I can take sir. Okay, thank you. All right, people, please be safe out there as always. All right, thank you very much once again, everybody. So everyone feel free to come up and say, you know, say goodbye to Jeff, say hi to Jeff. We got cameras. I'm going to take pictures here. So if anyone wants pictures, um, we, we got two photographers here ready to do that as well. So thank you for coming. Yes, Perkins at 80 for making Mustaches for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Thank you.